Hello everyone, welcome to Arcastro Science and today in this video I will be discussing the transit of Mercury into the sign of Sagittarius. On 10th of December 2021, Mercury is going to enter the sign of Sagittarius and this transit is roughly going to be of 19 days. On 29th of December, Mercury will leave Sagittarius and it will enter the sign of Capricorn and then it will get conjunct with Saturn. This transit is going to be a very short transit of 19 days but still I will say that it will leave its mark this transit is going to be very prominent looking into the fact how other planets are situated in the zodiac sagittarius is the house or sign whatever you can say it is basically the zodiac sign which relates to uh, which relates to dharma righteousness it is the original ninth house of the natural zodiac higher spiritual knowledge optimism anything which is true truth uh, righteousness in the path of our life, anything which can bring light in our life, divinity, divine blessings, teachings of our guru and father can be connected with the sign of Sagittarius. Since it is lauded over by Guru Brihaspati, Jupiter, it can be rightly called as the house of Dharma. Mercury is the planet of speech and communication. It has the power to enable us anything to judge anything very logically and analytically. That is the planet of Mercury. So, it has the curiosity or inquisitiveness to learn new things whenever it transits from one sign to another. Since Sagittarius is the sign of higher spiritual knowledge and Mercury has the power to justify the things logically and analytically and grasp the knowledge through its curiosity. So, it is a very good opportunity for all of us. Wheresoever the sign Sagittarius lies in our ascendant, from our ascendant, depending in our horoscope, in our birth chart, those aspects of our life will be brightened up. You can learn new things from it. If you talk about dharma, if you talk about higher spiritual knowledge, religious knowledge, ancient scriptures, then suddenly you may feel that you all are getting, including me, myself also I will say, every one of us suddenly we may feel that we are getting some new interest to go through the ancient scriptures, new way of optimistic living, to learn new things out of it. You may suddenly visit your guru. It may happen to learn new things or you may suddenly meet some people of religious communities in order to learn new things or sudden new knowledge of ancient scriptures may come in front of us so we can go through it. It will basically be, it will bring a new light in terms of our intelligence is concerned. Now. This is one part of the transit. The another part of the transit is far more important, I will say. Mercury being the planet of speech and communication and Sagittarius being the sign of truth. So, suddenly there will be a very strong urge to communicate the truth. Wheresoever the planet transiting, the planet Mercury will be transiting in your birth chart. So, suddenly you will start speaking the truth or the things which you did not say up till now, suddenly you will speak it out. Now, why I am saying you that you will speak the truth and you will definitely speak it out? It is so because second house is the house of speech. From Mars, Mercury is transiting in the second house because Mars is transiting at present in the sign of Scorpio. Sagittarius is second from Scorpio. So, if we see from Mars, it is gaining that energy, that fierce energy. So, suddenly you will have a very strong urge to say the truth. Most important part here is that Sagittarius itself is a fiery sign. If we talk about the energy of Sagittarius, it talks about the raw and blunt truth, which is unaffected by any kind of affliction, the divine light which is true in all sense. So, suddenly that kind of energy will be going through all of us. 
suddenly will feel that yes i must convey the two things in this kali yoga the problem comes when we start speaking speaking the truth means we are habituated to lies fraud cheats so badly in our life that whenever the uh, someone says truth in our in front of us it becomes very difficult to take it so suddenly it may happen that you say something and to whom you are saying that person is not taking it very nicely it may happen suddenly you may face some kind of oppositions some kind of arguments can happen because you will not leave the way once you start speaking you will not stop it the most important part here is that since it's a very fiery sign so you will feel that i will speak it this is the correct time why should i stop you will feel like that most important part is that it is not the end of the story it is something more to it second from mercury at present is capricorn where saturn and venus both are transiting if we talk about second house every time which is the second lord of the natural zodiac taurus venus venus is the lord of taurus which is the second sign of the natural zodiac don't forget second from mercury at present venus and saturn both are transiting on 19th of december venus is going to get retrograde so whatever you speak be very careful regarding that because in this world as i said we every one of us it becomes very difficult for us to accept the truth we all know that down the line in coming years truth is the only thing which is eternal which will stay all lies frauds cheats will be washed away the true things only stays that is the most important thing and this righteousness truth it becomes very difficult for us to take it so after 19th of december when venus retrogrades which is the original second lord of the natural zodiac which is happening second from mercury so watch out what you say to whom you are saying it may happen that you will have a very strong urge to say the truth to say th- something that which you haven't said you will feel that strong urge make sure that the person with whom you are speaking or with whom you are communicating is ready to take it or not make sure that whatever you say can it go in some wrong turn if it then this is the time to have some control within you because mercury will be looking into the sign of gemini by its seventh aspect which is also the sign of communication communicating the truth so suddenly in our society in our means in our daily life you will say you will see that sudden news are coming certain truths are coming in front of us you will see this you will experience it in your own life in your own way you will experience it and the moment you say something which is absolutely correct because as i said that people feels very disturbing to accept to hear the truth because it is just like a ray of light it is just like that i am just exposing the things okay because uh, till it is hidden till it is dark everyone is quiet the moment the light is on the light is switched on we see the truth so the moment you say something now it is not under the curtain it is now open to everyone so you will understand that how people are taking it you will definitely see and they you will be facing two types of people who will be really accepting your truth in a warm hearts and you will see many of them are not accepting it you will face that kind of arguments or that kind of heat so you have to understand where and how to convey the truth now if we talk about the bright side of this uh, transit i will say it's a very good time to learn new things because sagittarius is a such a sign which has the power to give you more and more knowledge endless knowledge and mercury has the power to grasp it it is very curious very curious planet 
it can give you that um, means you will be seeing that morning you are learning new things afternoon something different evening something different and at night again you are learning some something else it will give you that kind of energy to go through the knowledge deeper aspects of life i will say the truth which can actually change your life in a positive manner now depending upon our horoscope depending upon our planetary placements and the house where mercury is transiting this transit will have different kinds of result so any time if you want a consultation from me they check the links in the description section you will find the email id you can directly mail to me for any kind of request of consultation and you can join to me through my facebook and instagram accounts and as usual if you are new to this channel then tap to the subscribe button click on to the notification bell icon so that every time i make a new video you get notified instantly so now i will be discussing the what are the possible effects for every ascendant sign starting from aries to pisces for this transit of mercury into the sign of sagittarius for the aries ascendant people this transit is happening in your 9th house itself the house of dharma so as i said that it is a very good time for knowing the truths of your life it will definitely improve your communication power because it will be directly looking into the third house of communication anything related to your hobbies or creative talents which you actually thought you should start it this is a very good time that you can start it and most important part here is that your communication with your guru your communication with your father will be much more better now and if you want to learn new things you can definitely learn it with respect to law philosophy or any kind of deep knowledge any kind of higher spiritual knowledge ancient scriptures you can visit some religious uh, places also in order to learn new things travels are also seen with for with the virtue of this particular transit that you can visit to some spiritual places some religious places and you can know new things you will be feeling very good while learning those things in your life during this although this transit is a very short one but make the most out of it for the taurus ascendant people this transit will be happening in your 8th house now for the taurus people i will say that mercury is your fifth lord and sagittarius being the house of being the uh, being the sign of higher spiritual knowledge fifth lord coming into the eighth house of deep secrets in the sign of higher spiritual knowledge so i will say it will increase your curiosity to learn the hidden mysteries of life you can learn new things with respect to your own studies also suppose if you are associated with any kind of research or anything which requires deep focus and concentration then i will say that for the taurus people it is going to be a very good transit you can learn uh, new uh, spiritual knowledge new spiritual ideas anything related to deeper aspects uh, of religion or religious uh, ancient scriptures also i will say it is going to be a very good transit with respect to your education and intelligence to learn new things for the gemini ascendant people this transit will be happening in your 7th house now this transit has to be taken care of why because since sagittarius is a very fiery sign and mercury is the sign of speech so suddenly you speak out some blunt truth knowledge or something truth which can lead to some kind of arguments and disputes between the partners between the spouse and you so i will say you can use the transit in a different way use the energy in order to sort out the sorting out the disputes don't be too critical of yourself also and your spouse also if you are associated with any kind of trade and business then this transit is going to be very good one only make sure that rather than going into any kind of arguments you can use the communication power of mercury to sorting out the problems communicate with your spouse communicate with your partners in a more better way truth is the ultimate uh, destination that is the most important part but most of the time what happens when we communicate with our partners 
truth harms most of the times it is seen that we are unable to grasp the two things now mercury has the power of negotiation i will say you mercury is a uh, such a planet which has the power of good communication so you can use the power of communication in such a way that it can sort out it can solve the problems between you and your partners using in this way this way otherwise i will say that since it is transiting through the uh, house of negotiations and 7th uh, house also deals with trading and business business partnerships and legal bindings this mercury will give you good results with respect to this uh, mercury will be looking into your first house which is the house of gemini its own sign so it will give you good vitality it will give you good personality and good strength also for the cancer ascendant people mercury will be transiting through your 6th house 6th house of your sign sagittarius now here you should you use this transit in order to put your putting your efforts in such a way that that can turn your hard work into success don't forget for the cancer ascendant people mercury is your third lord also it is your 12th lord also so you can use your efforts in such a way that can be helpful in your hard work whatever intelligence you are applying in your service whatever intelligence you are applying in your job or wherever you are working under someone so you can use your logical intelligence in order to implementing your decision making power in such a way that can lead to success only one thing that when you are communicating with your superiors when you are communicating with your authorities and your co-workers stay away from gossips stay away from any kind of manipulation because don't forget it is the sign of sagittarius so you say something and it can travel to some other person in some different way that can create some problem so it's better use your energy use your intelligence in your hard work so don't go into any kind of gossips just be very professional and straight forward in your work that can give you very good results since it is your 12th lord coming into the 6th house so it is creating a vipari raj yoga so just follow your instincts just follow your hard work and you will see that the problems will be slowly and slowly it will be removing out from your path obstacles will be removed from your path just follow the truthfulness in your work in your hard work for the leo ascendant people mercury transit will be happening in your 5th house now this transit will be a really very good one because i will say that mercury is your second lord and mercury is also your 11th lord now second lord also deals with it is also a house of education basically the basic education the house of basic the lord of basic education that is the second lord coming into the fifth house of intelligence the specialized education so suddenly you can use your creative skills the skill of your communication the skill of your speech and writing in your creative self expression you can learn new skills and new knowledge also suppose if you are a student or suppose even if you are a teacher even if you are associated with anything which relates to knowledge communication learning new things even if you are a creative content creator you use your hands or suppose you use your speech then this particular transit is going to be very good one because you will not only learning new skills this mercury will be looking into the 11th house of gains also so it will give you far more better results with respect to 5th house and 11th house both for the virgo ascendant people mercury is your lagna lord will be transiting through your 4th house of sagittarius now lagna lord transiting through the 4th house means this 19 days you will be using each and everything of your life which can make you happy especially at your home so your emotional security your happiness index will rise you will indulge yourself in those things which can make you really very happy your peace of mind will be taken care of during this transit you will feel very energetic at your home so you will be uh, maybe you can participate in anything which can make you happy suddenly you may feel that i can arrange the things at my home i can renovate the things at my home which can make because see mercury is a very that that uh, the attitude to perfection something organize something that is related with mercury 
depends always doing something or the other this thing this attitude is with mercury that that child uh, that uh, childish nature that uh, the jolly nature okay uh, you can take it in that that way that um, the always energetic energetic prince and child taken this way um, that kind of energy is associated with mercury so you will feel very happy at your home mercury will also be looking at your 10th house so you will not only be indulging yourself which can make you happy but also it will help you out in your career and profession also so i will say it will be a very good transit for the virgo ascendant people for the libra ascendant people mercury will be transiting through your third house here it will give you a very straight forward communication abilities like suppose if you are a orator if you uh, are very good at delivering speeches suppose if you are a, even if you are a teacher even if you are associated with journalism mass media or anything which requires us to speak this transit will give you a very good sharp straight forward speech you can you will be able to convey your words in a more prominent manner suppose if you want to start anything of your own any hobby or creative talents through your intelligence through your logical planning and organizational abilities of mercury you can do it you can start it not only that mercury will be looking into your ninth house your ninth house is the sign of gemini for the libra ascendant people i'm talking and who is lord of gemini that is the mercury itself so it will be looking into its own sign gemini which is the ninth house it will also improve your fortune and luck so whatever work you do you will get the support of your luck so this transit will be a very good one i will say if you talk about the scorpio ascendant people then the transit of mercury will be happening in your second house so i will say this will be a very good transit with uh, with respect to your wealth and finance mercury is your 11th lord and that is the reason you may suddenly have certain kind of gains and you may feel that i can actually invest those financial and uh, wealth related gains into some long term investments which can give me far more better results in coming days to come so you can have some gains and you will feel that yes i can invest it in a good manner in a proper manner you will be your idea regarding your finance will be very crystal clear because sagittarius is the sign of light optimism truth divine blessings so your path will be crystal clear means you will know that what to put what to put how much your communication and speech will be very good your interaction with your family members will be very good during this time i will say that this transit will be a very welcome transit not only your investments means i will say anything related to your assets be it the fixed asset or the joint asset because it will be looking into the 8th house also anything related to your joint assets anything related to your in laws will be very well communicated during this time for the sagittarius ascendant people mercury will be transiting through your first house itself this transit will bring a very positive outlook in your behavior means in your personality you will feel that i am getting that intellectual power to present myself in front of the world here mercury will not only improve your health not only improve your personality but also it will give you a very strong logical and analytical intelligence power also in front to in order to meet new people like suppose you are interacting with someone your uh, presentation will be very straight forward your means people will be knowing you for your intelligence people when when they will interact with you they will feel that this person is a very sharp very sharp minded very inquisitive and at the same time the logical intelligence the the memory power is very sharp okay so you can take the most of the um, most of the best of it with this transit make the most of it 
and most important part here is that mercury is your 10th lord also 10th lord transiting through the first house it is making you self independent and it is making you all powerful with respect to your career and profession so you can take the decisions with respect to your career and profession more prominently through your logical and analytical intelligence during this transit for the capricorn ascendant people mercury will be transiting through the 12th house in the sign of sagittarius now here mercury is your 9th lord mercury is also your 6th lord the 6th lord transiting through the 12th house it is creating a vipari raj yoga so slowly and gradually you will feel that my obstacles are getting cleared off it is the 9th lord transiting through the 12th house it simply means 9th house is the house of means the teachings of guru guru or father can be seen from the 9th house 12th house is the house where guru lives ashram the place where monks lives the place where the guru the preceptor where he lives okay so suddenly you may feel that you can go to some far away place to meet uh, people of religious communities and get some knowledge out of it or suddenly you may feel that i can take up a life of isolation and solitude and learn the deeper aspects of life some spiritual way of living you can take this transit in this way suddenly you will feel that i want a me time a time which i can spend up with myself to know myself to know the things which can help me out in coming days to come so you can use this transit in this way the moment you will isolate yourself from the world you will just make a cut off you will feel that yes now i am getting the proper energy i can grasp the things which i couldn't before so you can use this transit in this way only one thing i will say since it is the planet mercury transiting through the 12th house don't go into any kind of miscommunication I means suppose if you are communicating with communicating with someone either don't say anything or say the complete thing don't hide anything from any, anyone otherwise it can lead to some miscommunication because you will feel that i have said everything but the person with whom you are communicating they may feel that this is not the truth or this cannot be the truth so either you don't communicate at all or either you say the things in a more organized manner since it is the sign of sagittarius so you will try your best to say the things but still i will say that make sure that don't allow any kind of miscommunications another thing is that don't do any kind of wasteful expenditures because mercury rules over finances also it is the 12th house of loss so don't do any kind of wasteful expenditures means where it is required you can do it otherwise stop it for the particular time because after 29th of december mercury will be transiting through your first house for the capricorn people so that time it will be increasing your luck it will be more fortunate transit it is the ninth lord of luck and fortune transiting through the first house that time after 29th of december so that will give you more better results for the aquarius ascendant people mercury will be transiting through the your 11th house of gains now here mercury is your fifth lord and most important part here is that if we talk about the uh, transit of mercury for the aquarius ascendant people the most important part whatever creative self expression you have through that creativity through that how you express yourself in front of the world you will have lots and lots and of gains through it now since mercury is the planet of speech and communication so whatever you speak how you communicate with the people will bring a lot more gains in your life now suppose if you are trans- you are uh, running the dasha of mercury or suppose you have uh, mercury posited in the sign of sagittarius or if you have a strong ashtakvarga points in the sign of sagittarius then this particular transit of mercury will bring lots and lots of gains in your life in whatever work you do nowadays whatever work we do most of it is associated with mercury suppose if you are even if you are a clerk even if you are a cashier even if you are associated with any kind of business trading finance accounts even if you are a mathematics teacher 
anything most of the things in this world one way or the other is associated with mercury since for the aquarius people aquarius ascendant people mercury will be transiting through the 11th house it will give you lots and lots of gains and the most important part here is that if i connect it one by one then mercury transiting through the 11th house 11th lord transiting through the first house because jupiter the lord of sagittarius will be transiting through the first house of aquarius ascendant so it is creating a dhan yoga also in that way so i will say that if we uh, follow the uh, proper right path and follow the creative self expression for the aquarius people i'm saying if you do it in that way it can bring lots and lots of gains with respect to wealth finance your recognition you will feel it okay for the pisces ascendant people mercury will be transiting through the 10th house and here i will say that this transit is also a good one because now you will be able to put your implementing power the power of implementing anything through a decision making the logical and analytical intelligence you will be able to do it in your work means how you are communicating with your authorities how you are communicating regarding your work will be very straight forward so now you will get that fiery energy of sagittarius you will feel that yes i can use the things it will suddenly coming in your mind that yes i can do this my work will be done so you can do multiple things in a very short span of time since it is also your fourth lord coming into the 10th house so suddenly you will feel that yes i can find the happiness in doing the works and at the same time since it is looking into the fourth house also so you will be also doing all those things to bring happiness at your home domestic front also you will feel that yes if if i do all these things i will be actually very happy so i will say make the use most of it of this transit while it is transiting through your 10th house use the logical power your intelligence in order to clarify each and every work with respect to your career and profession mind it your communication with your boss your authorities will be good during this time it will be very straight forward clarity will be blessed due to the transit of mercury through the sign of sagittarius so this is uh, that's all for the all the 12 ascendant signs hope you have liked it and press the like button if you have done so and share the video with your near and dear ones so that they can come across the video and they can use the most of it and don't forget to comment in the comment box your comments are really very welcome to me and any time if you want a consultation from me check the links in the description section and if you are new to this channel tap on to the subscribe button click on to the notification bell icon so that every time i make a new video you get notified instantly and next time when i come back i will be doing a new video with respect to the venus retrograde which is going to happen on 19th of december 2021 so wait for it and stay tuned till uh, till then i am signing off for today thanking you bye bye